the website. Hey guys. Hey, make sure you don't drop it this time. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to drop it last time. Hey okay, guys, see? I have okay. something to tell you. What's up, Buttercup? So you know how I wasn't at school the other day? Yeah. yeah. I was at the hospital. At least you the hospital. Um, I was getting some tests run, and one of the things I tested is they biopsied my bone. Biopsy? Isn't that really bad? The results came back, and I have cancer. Grief. We all think we know what grief is. Cancer? It's sadness. Leukemia. It's heartbreak. It's loss. People say there are five stages of grief. The first is denial. Are you sure they didn't give you the wrong results back? I mean, that happens all the time. No, no, I, I got the right results. I just, I can't guys. No. It's real. This can't be happening. Percy. Please, please tell me you're fine. Please tell me you're fine. Hey guys, we're here at Cafe U. Just gonna put that there. Do a little progress check. Progress check. So, on Monday, um, I had a hospital visit. We got some scans done. Uh, Wednesday, I had my first treatment session. Starting off strong. Hopefully everything goes well. And then this coming Friday, um, I have another treatment session. So just keep things rolling. I feel very helpful. Mm -hmm. Very excited. <laughs> Wait, did you say Friday? Don't we have? We have the concert on Friday. Oh, um, I'm sorry, guys. Just, I, I can't. I can't reschedule it. You can miss one appointment. It's not an appointment, it's treatment. I Well, we've been planning it for months. Well, I can't just skip it. We have everything paid for. for. The tickets, the I mean, the ride. I have kids, this is something that you can I, just can't, want. I can't just miss it. The anger makes you say things you don't mean. You're right. I'm sorry. There's just so much happening. It's just kind of stressful for everyone. I would give anything just to go back home. Marketing is the stage that shows just how much you've lost before when we can just easily go on concert trips and coffee dates and just have fun. You know? I want that more than anything. Just... Hey guys! Hey. Yo yo! So we're outside of Carly's right now. Uh, she just got done with the treatment, so she might be a bit groggy whenever we get in there. But Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and start filming and give you a little update, just in case we get in there and she's not really up to filming today. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, knock, knock. <laughs> hey. Okay. Hey, what are you guys doing here? Uh, we just wanted to come by and surprise Carly because, you know, we know that treatment's been a bit rough recently. We come bearing gifts. Um, you guys should... Come inside, I have something to tell you. You guys have been really great friends to Carly and that's the, the reason she hasn't been exactly honest with you about her cancer. But, but she's okay? The treatments, the, they're working right? They have to work. She's she's not doing treatments anymore. The sadness is overwhelming. She's she's on hospice. Hospice? The depression floods. She's fought so hard. She's in a lot of pain. She's it's sixteen. Not, it's not fair of us to keep her here. What do you mean, it's not fair? We just have to let her go. No, letting her go is selfish. Can't we do something? We've tried. We've tried everything. There's, there's nothing else we can do. Is this the best option for Carly? Is this the best we can do? Yes. The doctors have given her medicine to 
where she's not in any pain anymore. It's almost time to say our goodbyes and wait. Thank you guys. I should say goodbye today. We don't know how much longer she has. Let's go say goodbye to our angel, our Carly. We all think we know and understand grief. But even when we reach acceptance, we soon see the cycle repeat, repeat, and repeat. Denial bargaining, depression, and finally, acceptance. To our angel, our Carly. <laughs>